It's the cattle dog, and uh, I thought I'd let everyone know that today was the anniversary for the Trayvon Martin shooting down in Stanford, Florida. Now, when this story came out, the press seemed like they wanted to split the races, white against black, black against white, minorities against white. And, you know, they wanted to portray Trayvon Martin as this little innocent young man by using his 13-year-old pictures instead of his 17-year-old pictures. Um, they didn't want to say anything about him beating up bus drivers, getting suspended for school, uh, just acting like a total thug. They just wanted to portray him as an innocent adolescent young man instead of the you know the grown man that he was and come June 10th when this trial gets started I hope that everybody realizes that um, you know the media is trying to split us and not to fall for it and see through the media lies that they're going to portray in this case just like they did when it first came out now I'm not here to say that uh, Zimmerman was justified or anything else I'm just here to say that you know the media put out lots of lies about this young man and when people tried to come out with the truth about this young man being a gangster, a drug dealer, and just an all-around hooligan, you know, people were attacked and threatened and everything else. Um, you know, there's a lot of things in this case, like the fact that he wasn't a registered guest in this gated community. Uh, he jumped the back wall instead of going through the, you know, the security gate up front. Um, there was a lot of things that Trayvon Martin did that helped promote this violence that did happen. And, you know, there's just, and I did a lot of research on this, you know, read lots of stories and, you know, there in my eyes the media is making this kid out to be an angel when the real truth states that he was far from an angel uh, from his Facebook page stuff to his criminal record to the reason why he was in Sanford to begin with <laughs> you know and then the parents not notifying security of his uh, visit um, you know there's just tons of stuff in this case that is going to be brought up here coming June 10th and uh, remember the media will most likely try to put a wedge between the races once again uh, you know for whatever agenda they have I'm not sure about that but you know I just wanted to get on here and talk about that for a little bit and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.